So for that, I'm gonna open my event graph. So in our post evaluation blueprint, we have upgrade character rotation. And here we have the, if I open it up, we have upgrade rotation while moving. And we now need one more function, which is update rotation turn in place. I'm gonna add the function over here connected while we are in idle state. We need to check update, we need to execute the update turn in place rotation function. So now let's write the function over here. Well, if I open this function first I need a sequence okay so first thing first if we can perform turn in place if current turn in place true and another thing is branch get curve value remember we have turn in place curve for each turn in place animation so if we get we're getting this turn in place curve value if that value is greater than zero which means we are playing turn in place animations okay so if both conditions are met we need to update our character rotation so i'm gonna access and try get pawn on a and I'm gonna set character rotation set actor rotation sorry and here is our set actor rotation and we need to make rotation make rotator for rotation I'm gonna get my turn place start rotation we need so if i open the on idle turn in place function let me go through my notes little quick okay so when we are performing turn in place so here is our function so if our can turn in can we perform turn in place if it is true we first need our start rotation what is our current rotation of current actor rotation so i'm gonna promote this drive variable pip underscore turn in place start rotation and set the variable type to rotator and set it over here okay and i'm gonna use property access remove binding try get pawn owner and get actor rotation so if we can perform turn in place first we need to get our current rotation so here is our start rotation and then we'll here's our start rotation i'm gonna split the struct pin and from yaw I'm gonna add I'm gonna add the get curve value again I'm gonna now I need to get the rotation curve value which is 0 to 1 curve that we have mapped for all the four turn test animations so here is our rotation curve I'm gonna put the rotation curve turn in place I'm gonna get the value and we need to multiply the value with our if I open this function we need to multiply this value with our target angle here you can see we have promote we have the variable for target angle so I'm gonna multiply the current rotation curve value to our turn in place target angle and add the result to the current start rotation and set our actor rotation okay there we go so now if i hit play and check see 
our character perform turn in place. But we need to fix other issues as well. So while we are performing turn in place, we also need to update our rotational difference. Here we are calculating the rotational difference to determine either we can perform turn in place or not. So when we are performing turn in place, we need to set, we need to update our rotational difference variable, TIP rotation difference. I'm gonna use the same functionality, copy it from here and paste it over here. Primary actor rotation and head actor rotation. So here we are updating the rotation difference variable while performing turn in place. So that when we complete our turn in place uh, animation, our rotational difference should also be updated and it should it should be zero at that time when the animation ends all right and also we need to set the variable so here we are setting the variable can perform turn in place and we also need to set the variable to true or false so if our this value rotation curl turn in place value is greater than or equal to zero if this value becomes greater than or equal to one we need which means we have completed our turn in place animation and we need to set the can perform turn in place variable to false that's it okay so we have set up the functionality Here you can see when uh, turn in place ends, our character blend towards the idle animation. But there's one more issue that I have talked to you about, uh, about that when we are performing turn in place and if we give another input, the character you can see just rotate crazily. And we need to fix that. So here comes the inertialization functionality really handy. So that's why we have created a separate flip flop functionality for turn in place. So that when we are performing turn in place, we can then transition towards a new turn in place animation using inertialization blend. So if we are performing turn in place and we uh, give another input, then we go towards the turn in place flow functionality and then flip flow functionality so we need to set the transitions to inertialization right and when we are when we are transition using inertialization we don't need to we don't need these curves anymore which is our let me open it up rotation curve turn in place and turn in place curve okay so when we are using inertialization blend with turn in place animation we don't need these two curves rotation curve and the turn in place curve so here we are using the inertialization blend and now let me let's check it again see now if I give another input while performing turn in place our character should uh, should break its current turn in place animation and transition towards the new turn in place animation And if we, while performing turn in place, we can also blend towards uh, any direction while performing start animation. So 
so this is our turning page functionality is ready and it looks pretty good all right so i think this that is it and in our next video we'll set up the we'll set up this rotation uh, we'll set up this orientation warping and this stride warping functionality while moving if there is any object in front of us our character sh our leg should be aligned towards velocity direction and our stride length should also be changed so in the next video we'll set up that functionality